If you want to do the one thing that will have a profound impact on your brain, then we're going to talk about that. Today, we're going to go over the incredible impact of exercise on our brain. And this isn't just my personal opinion. It's based on some information from a neuroscientist, Wendy Suzuki. There are tons of books and information out here that go over this. And so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Now imagine for a moment finishing a workout and instantly feeling a mood boost. That's not just the endorphins talking. A single workout ramps up levels of neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline in your brain. This means that you're not only happier, but you're also more focused and even quicker on your feet. Yes, you might just catch that coffee cup before it spills. But the magic of exercise is that it doesn't stop there. If you make exercise a regular part of your life, then you're signing up for some long-term perks. Regular workouts lead to new brain cells popping up in your hippocampus. That's the part of the brain responsible for long-term memory. So not only do you get fitter, but you also might not forget where you put your keys, among other things. And here's something even more amazing. Regular exercise acts like a shield for your brain. It strengthens areas like the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus, which are often most affected by aging and neurodegenerative diseases. While it's not a cure, exercise can help delay the onset of conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia. It's like investing in a health insurance policy for your brain. So how much exercise are we talking about? Don't worry, you don't need to run a marathon. The sweet spot is getting your heart rate up with aerobic exercise about three to four times a week for at least 30 minutes each time. And remember, this can be anything from a brisk walk around the block to a dance class or a bike ride. We can experience these benefits firsthand. My wife notices that if my mood isn't right, she looks at me and says, you haven't exercised lately, have you? because she realizes that exercise affects me so much. And so I can't wait to see what that looks like for you. Now, the next steps are gonna be to figure out the best exercise prescription for each of us, considering our age, fitness level, and even our own genetic background. It's an exciting field of study that could help us all maximize the brain benefits of exercise. So to wrap it up, Exercise is a real game changer for our brains. It boosts our mood and focus right away. It improves our memory over time, and it even protects our brains as we age. So let's all try to move a little more for our brain's sake. Now, if you like this kind of information or find this video helpful, why not share it with a friend who also might benefit? And don't forget, hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and here's to a healthier, happier brain. Have a great day.